Welcome to Hobby Clubhouse with a review of the Normal Ken Extra Edition Handbook of Gunpla Modeling published by Hobby Japan. As a foreword, this is not a sponsored video. I'm simply a big fan of the books, and you'll soon see that. Anyway, let's get going. This book is called the Extra Edition because it comes from a series of modeling guidebooks by pro modeler Kenichi Nomoto. With Normal Ken 1 holding a legendary status among Japanese modelers for being fundamental and comprehensive as a guide to core skills and knowledge. Now that's not to say this extra edition is not well loved, the whole series is very well revered. Rather, this book is something very specific and very different and we'll get to that in a little bit. But first, we need to talk about this monumental English release. This is the first time any of Mr. Nomoto's books have gotten an official English translation or any notable Gundam modeling guide from Japan has gotten an English translation in fact. And clearly it's about time. With it topping Amazon's bestseller charts in the crafts and hobby models category, as well as ranking number two in the model building category as of this video. It's finally here and lots of people want to learn from it. The book was released on October 20th, 2020 for 14.45 US dollars. It's an ebook release for the Kindle ecosystem, so sadly you cannot get a physical version of this. The original book, which is not the Taiwan version I have here, was first published in Japan in 2009, and the English version retains all of that original content, which is to say, the book hasn't received any major revisions since its initial publication. But that shouldn't stop you from getting a copy, since the tools and tips inside are still relevant. So what exactly is the aim of the book, and who is this book for? Unlike the Noble Ken books, which are arranged by various skills like painting and airbrushing, this handbook is arranged in five different stages of modeler skills, which here I'll call first the beginner stage, and then the refinement stage, and then the detailing and texturing stage, and then number four, advanced stage, and then number five, the second half of the advanced stage. Specifically, this book will teach you how to build a Gundam kit at various levels of skill and quality, but it does not cover customization and big alterations, which are extensively detailed in Normal Ken 1 and Normal Ken 3 instead. This is more like a textbook with a linear progression, starting from the very first introduction to Gundam models, with an introduction to some common terms like what a gate is and what to expect inside the box of a model kit. Now before you run off and think that this book seems to be aimed at beginners only, this is where the book starts, and this is important because it welcomes new fans who are curious about Gundam models. Because it can be intimidating to go into your first kit blind, and the book is friendly and reassuring, and it makes sure that you feel that yes, you can do it, and this will be a running theme throughout the entire book. The beginner stage covers straight building, and perhaps if you're watching this video, there's a good chance you'll already know most of what's in this part. But if you ever wanted to spread the gospel of Gundam models, this is actually a very good tool for showing a younger sibling or a friend who's new to the hobby. Like this page right here that outlines some basic tools. It reminds us that if you don't have a side cutter, you can always use a nail clipper, which most people already have. So it's not such a big upfront commitment that'll make some people reluctant. Also, if anyone from Hobby Japan is watching this, that picture of the blue cutter has the wrong caption on it. The original caption is about how model side cutter blades meet on a smooth plane for a clean cut. But there are also some good practices for even seasoned modelers here, like this section talking about how to keep polycaps from being squished in assembly. I'm sure many of us skip over this detail and run into this problem from time to time. The next stage is what I call the refinement stage, which expands the tools into sandpaper, knives, and paint markers. It's still in the realm of tools with very straightforward applications, and it walks you through the many ways you can use them to make the bare plastic look as tidy as possible. And there's an extensive guide on three different kinds of decals you commonly get inside Gundam kits. The clear plastic stickers, rub transfer decals, and then water slide decals. This is perhaps the point where a stock kit can show its full potential, as Bandai designed it straight out of the box. Then the next stage is what I would call the detailing and texturing stage, with the introduction of brush painting, the different levels of gloss coats, and then an expansion on Gundam markers by teaching you how to apply them with a brush. You'll learn about thinning paints and how to clean up areas you've overpainted on. You'll be able to add details to kits beyond what's inside the box. 
Here, you'll also find a guide to weathering as well, which is a good choice for adding some high quality details and improvements to a kit without expensive tools like an airbrush. And also, you don't have to be too precise, which is always good. Then we move on to the first half of the advanced stage, which is closely tied to the second half. Here, you'll start to reshape parts, you'll alter bits of the basic plastic kit, and also, you'll glue and fill in imperfections of the base kit. Because of the materials you're going to use like glue and putty, and a good bit of sanding, the kit's going to need painting, which is the last stage. This stage lays the foundation on how to prepare a kit well beyond the stock level of quality, and to shed the last traces that this was once a plastic toy. As mentioned just before, the second half of the advanced stage is all about painting. It covers both cases of using only spray cans, and then it moves on to using a full airbrush setup. That is to say, at this stage, you'll be able to experiment and try your hand at a fully painted kit with or without a set of airbrush. You'll know what to expect, and you'll be able to troubleshoot what went wrong with something like a runny surface or a pear skin texture, which many will encounter on their first attempt at spraying paint. When you don't get it just right, you'll know exactly why. And if you do nail it on your first try, not only will you be proud, but you'll understand exactly what you did that made it work out. Throughout the book, there are still many other tips like how to store your Gundam models that are all incredibly useful. And there are way too many for me to possibly mention here, so you can see why this book earns the proper place among the revered series. But to wrap up this somewhat short review, here is the Hobby Clubhouse 3 point verdict on Nomoken Extra Edition Handbook for Gunpla Modeling. Number 1. It's a friendly guide to any modeler. If you fit into any of the 5 stages outlined in this review, then this book will not only teach you how to develop your skills, but it will not overwhelm and intimidate you with techniques that are vastly beyond where you're at as a modeler. You can even use this to spread the gospel of Gundam modeling and get them hooked and grow our numbers. 2. It's a comprehensive troubleshooting guide. For each of the skills taught, the book discusses the logic and the process behind it, and you can work backwards from both success or failure and diagnose your own performance. There's no pressure to master any of the skills all at once. The book is a good tool for exploring Gundam modeling and the different skills. Number 3. It's a celebration for a growing community. Looking at all the other books on Amazon's list, and you'll see that modeling is still predominantly traditional scale modeling like trains, planes, and military vehicles. And many of us have long gotten used to trawling for a YouTube tutorial that will teach us the things we need. But this book, and its strong sales, is proof that there is a healthy market supported by Gundam modeling fans. It's special that you and I can be here to witness the growth and maturity of our community. So that's a review of the Handbook of Gunpla Modeling. Hopefully you have a better understanding of what this book is all about and you can better decide if this is the right purchase for you. Thank you so much for watching. Come hang out with us on social media for updates on upcoming videos. Links are in the description below. Or hang out a little bit longer with one of these other awesome videos. Before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be notified when there's a new video from Hobby Clubhouse. And I'll see you next time.